Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today I am looking at the very last of the new Alpha 12 hulls, the Japanese Heavy Cruiser 2, first available in 1922. Um, okay, long. We go for the smaller version. Yeah. Let's go for the smaller version. Towers. Oh, we get the Cruiser Pagoda Tower. Nice. And we get the Modern Towers. Oh, okay. So the one, which is really, really wide. And the two, which is narrow and tall. Interesting. Stat-wise, what are we looking at? Pretty similar on base accuracy. Uh, damage control goes up a fair bit. Hmm. I think then I'm just going to go with the the Pagoda Tower. Why not? It's always fun. Everyone likes those. Secondary Tower, we get Cruiser Towers. Modern Secondary Tower. Two varieties. One without a range fire on the back and one with. Okay, and the Compact. Which actually looks huge <laughs> compared to the others. Uh, the moderns definitely have the best stats. Uh, I'll go for the modern four. Why not? Put it about there. And it has a funnel slot as well. So let's actually see what we need to do in terms of funnels and things. Uh, still with steam oil one. Gives me 57.5 smoke. So yeah, it's just going to be a single Super Funnel 2, if I can fit it. Now, on the deck. Okay. And that just that's just the, uh, the boat deck. <laughs> For now. Right, let me get all these cozied up to each other. Can. Almost. Lovely. Deck funnels. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes, the swimming pool. Yes, this will be the, <laughs> the swimming pool. Um, all right. Guns. What do we get? They're all... No, they're not all Mark 3s. We get Mark 4 10-inch guns. Uh, and the 9-inch guns are also Mark IV, and they have a special look to them, so obviously I'm going to use those. 9-inch. Hmm. Uh, medium 2s are enough. And yes, I know I could potentially do super duper with these. But I don't want to go... Completely bonkers. Actually, the medium two is quite big. I'll do this with a medium one. Not even a medium one. I can do this with the shorts if I want. With nines. Oh no, it doesn't let me. <laughs> uh, can I do it with the uh, fishing trawler barbet? I can. Okay, let's go for that then. I don't know why I call it the fishing trawler barbet, but that's, that's what it looks like where they got it from. Nice. Hmm. I know I should pr probably go jewels though, rather than triples. Oh. They look a bit weird, the jewels. What do you think, chat? Jewels or triples? Triples look better. Yeah, I agree. Triples it is. Because uh, 12 9 inch guns on a heavy cruiser is perfectly sane. Um, secondary guns. We've got fives. 
don't have any slots. Fours, which don't have any slots. Threes, which do. And twos, which do as well. I'm going to go for twos, just because if I can. Yeah, these are too chunky to fit in all the slots, but they fit in most of the slots. Yeah, I just don't like the ones that are really close together. <laughs> Still, though, I kind of like that. This would be a great spot for a torpedo launcher of some sort. Uh, I don't think we'll need torpedoes, but should probably bring them just in case. Uh, we have an aft weight offset. Okay. Go. Yes, I know I am not sticking to my own rule of the firepower sweet spot. I should go for an ABX triple or I should go for jewels, but screw it. <laughs> Break my own rules. Right. Um, let's get an orcs diesel, advanced shafts, all the good stuff. Um, oh, yes, yeah, speed wise. One thing I haven't checked. Now, we, hmm, how come else can we go on a natural boiler? 28 knots. Eh. 1922? Was this? I'll take it. 28 knots on a heavy cruiser. Fine by me. Um. Explosives. High TNT super heavy shells. Why not? Because you want to wreck people as soon as you see them. Semi auto loaders, very nice. Uh, let's stick with the advanced hydraulics today. Uh, torpedoes, 21 inch standards. Why not? Um, and. Could even fit a torpedo belt if we wanted. Not overly useful on a heavy cruiser, but we'll bring a little bit. Armor-wise, can we go? Can we go nuts with the armor? Please don't we can go nuts with the armor. We can. <laughs> we can go completely bonkers berserk with the armor if we want. Um, particularly if we drop that to an anti torp one. Um, Uh, yeah, sure. This, this makes perfect sense. No, no, no. It's... There we go. Putting the heavy in heavy cruiser. <laughs> Prefer the jewels. Okay. To each their own. I think the triples look a little bit more balanced on the turret. I think the jewels look a bit weird, because they're like here and here. I, th I think I would prefer it if it was basically the triple with the middle barrel taken out. I prefer the jewels being further apart. I don't know why. But uh, it just uh, just appeals. Tortoise ship. <laughs> I don't think it's that slow. Oh, we've got an half weight offset again. Okay. There we go. Lovely stuff. I like this ship. It's, uh, it's definitely for 1922. Jeez. I mean, it is outside the Washington Treaty limits, but not by an insane amount. I can totally see uh, <laughs> certain nations trying to get away with it, but uh, no, it's definitely not okay. 
but let's try her out anyway. Oh, Pat's familiar. I'll go and give her some after this video. I'm going to have to take a break for lunch anyway. <laughs> Belt armor in 2021. The deck, deck armor, three inch deck armor, eh, on a cruiser, it's fine. It's particularly in the 1920s. Good goodness. Right, let's go. Turns nicely as well. Look at that. Swoop. Turning circle of what? 416 meters? That's. That's not bad. I like it. I like the 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 deck that swoops upwards. The uh, line of boats on the side is quite amusing as well. Now she's. She's menacing in a way. It sits very low in the water. Hmm. Dum dee. Dum. Da dum. Ba dum. No, no armor, more gun, feels orky. Yep. <laughs> what is this naval treaty you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, this little ship has a uh, battleship. Um, not quite battleship grade armor. The deck is not as good as a battleship's. But uh, still decent. <laughs> Nate, I grew some considerable belt armor over lockdown. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Although, mine is like to continue for a bit. Uh, the USA bringing all the guns to the party. Right. Let's uh, see if we can't engage. Oh, torpedoes off, by the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's do that right after we fire, never mind. Hits. It's good stuff. Uh, enemy torpedoes coming out. Which I. Nope, we're fired after I turned. So. Harder starboard. <laughs> Okay, maybe not quite that hard to starboard. Another hit. Good stuff. Still no IDs on the enemy ship. They definitely spotted those torpedoes. The Colorado several look at our competition. Similar displacement. 27 million to our 32. So similar cost. Seven inch guns. Blunt bunch of other stuff. Torpedoes. Faster. Arbor's nowhere near as good. Light high TNT shells. Interesting choice. hits. Many bulkheads on that. We have the Miami. No torpedoes, so not overly worried about her and her 7-inch guns, but especially not with minimum bulkheads. Yikes. Alright. And we have the Watts, which does have torpedoes. So you, unfortunately, Watts, are now the target. 
for all of my guns because you still have torpedoes left. I know the Colorado does as well, but Watts has them loaded. And the enemy guns really are going to struggle. go, nice hit, and another one. I wonder whether Watts isn't firing her torpedoes. I'd think that she would have a solution. Yeah, she's pointing them at me. I don't know why she's not firing things. Target locks. Always annoying when you've got a fast moving ship. Oh, just blew up his torpedo. That's fine by me. That might have been why they wasn't firing. Okay, well, back onto the heavy cruiser then. Engine three damaged and caused some flooding. Get on a on the same course here. Now I'm very close to the light cruiser, so I'm tempted here to see if we can get a shot off. Pretty sure the port torpedoes are still loaded. Or not. Sure, I find the start of torpedoes. Yep, there we go. Torpedoes away. Which I think the Miami actually is going to avoid. Which is insane. Probably because she was already turning. That's annoying. Let's see if we can turn inside the Colorado. <laughs> try not to ram the try not to ram the light cruiser, please. Thank you. Oh, light cruiser getting absolutely wrecked there. What even hit her? Ah, it's the, <laughs> the Colorado sinks the Miami. I didn't even hit her once. <laughs> Look at that. That's all from <laughs> seven inch gunfire from the Colorado that that's <laughs> all three of them sink. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> uh, enemy fleet just decides to stop existing. <laughs> oh my goodness. What was that? <laughs> Multi kill. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was a good way to end. As any. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just, just kill three ships at the same time. I've never seen that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, there we go. The last ship of Alpha 12. <laughs> proving, <laughs> proving to be pretty nasty and just what on earth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Those of you on YouTube. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.